top story tonight. Mayor Jamie Mayo holds a meeting for the South Side of Monroe community to give an update on drainage and flood control projects. NBC 10's Maya Hudgens back from that community meeting and has talked with officials and residents on what the plans are for flooding. Maya. Bodie and Michelle, South Monroe residents attended tonight's meeting as floods in the past have left damage and worry. However, the city of Monroe is investing $21 million in completed current and future flood control improvements. When you lose your home and have to go someplace else, that's a really difficult thing to do. The city of Monroe gave an update on drainage projects that will help with flood control in South Monroe in regards to the storms that have happened this week. It worries me that... Uh, there is uh, a lot of flooding in the area. However, the city is in talks about four future projects that should help South Monroe residents. City engineers say Oregon Trail floods frequently because of backwater. So the city will build a little three-foot flood wall along Nutland Road to prevent that. This project is completely funded by FEMA. During the flood in 2011, 642 structures were flooded in the Georgia Street and Winsboro Road area. To help fight the same disaster, the project will include a new pump station and adding one mile of pipe to force rainfall runoff to the Washita River. The Georgia Street pump station project was awarded $1.8 million, but are waiting to receive the money to start. After the 60 flood, we took a look at putting some retention on Young's Bayou. Young's Bayou is our biggest flooding problem. There will be two retention basins. The first one will be near the Parkview area. And that's going to be a 60-acre retention area approximately, you know, eight or nine feet deep that'll be empty and it'll fill up when it rains. The other one will be located near the Booker T. Washington area. This basin will only be 20 acres of land. However, the city already owns the land and says it could be completed by fall. The city engineer says she wants the parish to know that they are not pushing the water onto anyone else. Instead, they are coming up with solutions that will work for everyone. In the studio, Maya Hudgens, NBC 10, your local news leader.